In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Spring Boot application on AWS EC2 instance. So first click here, EC2, Instances, Launch a new instance, select the first, next, you can use the default configuration here, next, 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 here we are going to allow inbound traffic on port 22 for connection from terminal. We are going to allow the port 21 for the FTP client. We are going to use for upload the Java uh, jar file anywhere, anywhere, okay, and port 8000 for the Java application anywhere okay launch here we are going to use the key pair for authentication and launch instance while instance is launching let's let me show the Spring Boot project so I just have one simple endpoint slash AWS that will show me this message, Spring Boot application running on Amazon EC2 instance. Here is the properties file. I'm using port 8000, the same one that I allowed traffic on EC2 instance. And here, the pawn XML, where I have here the Java version and the Maven dependencies. Spring Boot starter web and dev tools. Okay. So, I already have the jar file for this project, it's here, I built it with Maven, and let's upload this file to our instance, okay, it's running, first let's connect, let's connect to the instance, here, I can, type, can copy this command, connect to your instance, yes, Let's install Java, Java 11, so I need to run this command, sudo yan install Java 11. Yes. I am using on Mac, so I can use the terminal. But if you are using Windows, you can use PUT for this remote connection. Okay. Finish. Uh, let's upload the jar file using Cyberduck. If you are using Windows, you, you can use WinSCP. So let's open here. Let's create a connection. You need to copy the public DNS from the AWS console. It's here, copy, server, EC2 user, if you're using Linux, if you choose Ubuntu, you just need to type Ubuntu here, and your pen file, sorry, it's here, you need to select your pen file, it's here, my pen file, let's connect to the instance, allow, okay, now you can upload your file, your jar file here, allow, okay, so with type ls, the jar file is here, and we just need to run this application using Java command. So, first you need to type here Java jar sample. Okay, I want this process to run in background, so I type this, and I want all output to this file output.log. And when I close the connection from terminal, I want that the process keep running, so you need to put here no hub 
for the process keep running even if you close the connection from terminal okay let's start right if I type tail the application already have started let's close here and if I type my process is running let's access from browser copy the public DNS type port 8000 and sorry slash AWS okay our Spring Boot application is running that's it if I helped you please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you have any doubt please leave a comment and I will help you thank you